Yeah, so I still got to pass to the garage. Um, I was trying to skip that for y'all. But uh, yeah, welcome to our garage. We do have a couple of cars in here, of course. And let's do this. We're going to park that. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another Let's Go to Work episode. You know, we have to finish with the arcade business first. You know, when you have that last thing before your weekend. All right, man. Have a nice day, bro. I didn't mean to say hi, but <laughs> we done with the business. Uh, the business should be opening up or what sometime this weekend. And you guys, you guys saw the arcade, man. One of my favorite spot right now. But I do have a couple properties to show you guys. So let's get ready for those. And uh, also, this is drag Mustang. I have to move all the way to Polito. So that's going to be one of our projects for the day. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys are going to enjoy this, man. But we're done with our work on this side of town. Yes, I am still driving the GTA, of course. I do have to um, pick up this I 8. Yes, one of you, some of you guys' favorite car. Like, okay, so I finally got a chance to, my, one of my homeboy um, driving I 8. I wanted to test it out real quick. And uh, this guy always cursing me out, man. You good? I'm not even. I'm not even. I'm not even messing with you, bro. Yeah. So we are heading to my Malibu house to pick up the I8. We got to bring it back. That's gonna be for Monday. But um, you know, we just did our last thing that we had to do before the weekend. So you know, when you you know when when oh my god my 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 I don't even know what language that was I just speaking right now. But <laughs> you guys ain't here. Yo, somebody else got the heat. Wow. Okay, this guy. Yeah, this guy's running. Went over the sidewalk and everything. I'm I'm trying to get out of here. Yeah, as I was saying, you know when you have that last scene, you got to finish with work or whatever. Now we don't have to think about work till Monday, man. We're going to try our best to have a great weekend. I hope you guys are doing the same. That is only if you don't have to go to work or, you know, do anything as far as work related. But um, right now, I'm going to the Malibu place. Let's pick up this I-8. We got to bring this I-8 to this new property. Definitely big shout out to Guillo, of course. Always hooking us up with some new properties, man. So we got this new properties. I already got some cars over there. But I do have to pick up the drag Mustang. We bringing that to Polito Bay. And uh, maybe pick up our girl along the way. Because she want to go on a road trip, too. Why not? And the drag Mustang, though. I don't know. Yo, so when it comes to build car, uh, like built cars and stuff like that, there's, there's some of them that you can't really take that far. And most people usually don't risk that because it's like, imagine you end up blowing your engine or whatever. And uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't want that. But right now we're just pulling up. But as far as build car, man, when you build like certain things, like um, rebuild like certain things, like a GTR or something like that, uh. I don't know. The GTO has been so good to me, man. And that's why I'm like, let me let me just relax, enjoy this car. And are these guys here for um the studio? I don't know if I had a schedule with them on. Oh, I forgot. I just opened my garage. I mean, since we open it, let's just look in there. You guys remember this garage, right? Man, I'm gonna be showing you guys so much cars today too. That's one thing I realized. But we can't take none of these because we gotta take the I eight, of course. All right, so the I eight is over here. Let me check if these guys are in the studio. I don't think they are. It's Saturday. They usually have to spot every Saturday. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter at the same time, though. But um, uh, definitely let me know. What are you guys doing this weekend? Let me know, man. As far as me, this weekend is gonna it's just gonna be a busy weekend for me. And I'm um, getting out of here right after this episode. You guys already know how we do, man. Trying to keep you guys updated, of course. But um, I don't think they're in the studio. No. All right. So we're just going to take this I 8 and get out of here. Yeah, I don't hear anything. Yeah, nobody's in the studio today. All right. So this house is free for the weekend because we're not staying here for the weekend. And uh, yeah, let's just take this I 8, get out of here. And uh, we go into our penthouse in the city. Actually, do I really have to stop over there? I might just go ahead and go straight to. Um, the new crib since I want to show you guys, of course. Yeah, so as I was saying, I got a chance to drive the I eight for the first time and uh, I don't know. I was OK, so you guys got to let me know what is the, the big hype about the I eight because I I don't know. I was I mean, other than the technology and the doors, 
it was just a regular car for me, for me at least. But you guys, I mean, let me know. Maybe I missed something. <laughs> and I do not like, yo, I, it's going to be hard for me to transition between. Whoa, what was up with that M5? It's going to be hard for me to transition between uh, gas power car to these cars. And uh, yeah. It's gonna take some time. It's definitely gonna take some time. But on a nice day, quiet day, I would love to drive an I8. Definitely. But um, right now, let's go drop it off. So instead of going to, you know what? We need. We might just grab some stuff from our house, real quick. Grab some stuff. Grab the bag. Hopefully, grab our girl too, because she's supposed to be there. Grab those and uh and uh. Head to you know what? Maybe I should pick up the Mustang first, though. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out like I could just stay on the highway. All right, let's pick up the Mustang first. You see how I'll be changing my mind? Like the Mustang is pretty far, and uh, we could just stay on the highway and just you know we don't have to worry. I mean, not that we don't have to worry about gas, but there also is this mod, guys. I can't wait to try. But the only thing is, I can't try it on single player, so I can't wait to like either get on 5M or something like that, so we can actually try this mod where. The Tesla kind of feel like a real Tesla, like you have the navigation system. You know, you don't have to put gas and stuff like. This. Is that a Lambo? Ooh, wait. Oh, you see how I stop everything? Is that a Lambo right here, man? All right, but um, yeah, I can't wait to try stuff like that. And uh, when it comes to GTA, I feel like GTA have come a long way, bro. Like the stuff that are available from like the five amp server stuff. Like just just everything, man. I mean, in other words, we're trying to tell Rockstar, like, yo, we mastered this. Can we get GTA Six already? Like for real, we. I feel like we mastered GTA. I mean, other than you know the, the little the little things with GTA Five, of course. But I mean, we know these things already. So it's like we just we just ready for GTA Six, man. Like Rockstar, please just include as much stuff or as much mods that we've done. So far, like I, I know, may, hopefully, hopefully, um, Rockstar can actually hear it. I know, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that talk to Rockstar, of course, but hopefully, hopefully, like the engine that they use and all the stuff. I know we're not gonna get the license for the cars, so that's that's one thing when we still gonna have to add on PCs and stuff like that. They're gonna try to make the cars as close as to the real thing. Like, I mean, they already they already do. I'm pretty sure they're just gonna do it even more now. Um, I'm about to run out of gas too. Hashtag you guys, you guys didn't hear that one. Wait, don't you have to put at least a little gas on the um? What you go? I drove it, but um, I didn't have to do anything like that because my friend was with me, and we only drove it to one location and switched cars anyway. But don't you still have to put gas in the IA? I I haven't done any research on the IA at all. All right, so we're pulling up to the crib, guys. We got to pick up this Mustang, and uh, it's a drag Mustang. That's what I'm driving. That's what I'm gonna be driving today, and uh, I get a chance to show you guys this property too, man. Um, I'm not sure if I have enough space because I gotta move all these cars. But uh, you know what? Should I show you guys the property first before we go in? Yeah, before we go. In, uh, let me see. Can I go in from this side? No, I still gotta pass through the garage. Let me see. Can I go in from this side right here? I think I still gotta pass through the garage. Yeah. I got it. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. I thought I owned the road for a second. Go ahead. Yeah, so I still got to pass to the garage. Um, I was trying to skip that for y'all, but uh, yeah, welcome to our garage. We do have a couple of cars in here, of course. And let's do this. We're gonna park the I eight right over here. All right. Right here should be fine. All right, let's check out the place, man. The I eight almost ran out of gas. <laughs> you guys see the cars? I mean, I got I got the secret stuff in there. I haven't seen upstairs. I've seen a garage so far. I haven't seen upstairs. I feel like Franklin bodies properties for just a garage. But um, as you walk up, oh shoot, yo! If I'm not home, you could just you know chill here for a minute, man. And I'm ready. Yeah, what up, guys? Hey, what's up, homie? Hey. Don't tell me your life story now. All right, as you guys can see, the kitchen slash living room. Like, look at this, man. 
Let me know. We got the boys here because I mean, this is supposed to be the Hitman house. Yes, this is the Hitman property over here. Oh, this is nice, man. And you looking at the pool outside like this? Let me know what you guys think so far, man. All right, we got the bar up here. I'm just trying to make sure I don't miss any doors, guys. As far as like Guelo be hooking us up with so much room when it comes to these properties, of course. And there's part of the house I might not be able to show you guys because I mean it's a hitman house. But this is a vibe. This is a vibe. You're looking at the water. I mean, yeah, I would chill out here all day. I would chill out here all day, man. Actually, all places um in St. Lucia was Something close to this, man. This is, this is a vibe. Look at the view too, man. Other than the dock over there, we're gonna hear the ship every time they come through. I'm pretty sure that's a problem early in the morning. But other than that, I think we good. You guys gonna have to rate this property, man. Guillo go like okay. So when it comes to Guillo, of course, you gotta make sure you check his Patreon. He also have a GTA 5 mods um link too. So I'll leave that under this um, video description. I was about to say live stream. That's a nice bathroom. All right. All right, bathroom. I see you. I see you. All right, man. This is a vibe. I will be working. I will be working so hard. Imagine I had to make videos with this view. <laughs> oh, man. By the way, I did that a couple of times where I took my computer, my whole computer um, to the next place. I remember. Um, Puerto Rico was one of them. While I was in Puerto Rico, I still have my computer with me. We'll go downstairs in a minute. Um, this is another bedroom with a different view. And these closet guillo. I know you're watching this right now. These closets are on point. I don't know. When did you change this? Oh, is that a secret door? When did you change this? No, that's just a glass, Steve. Um, when did you change this? But this is on point. I'm I'm loving these new style closet. In this uh, little shower over here too. All right, you guys, let me know what y'all think so far, man. This is a nice property, man. All right. Now, where are the secret stuff? That's what I'm wondering right now. All right, so downstairs is the garage and all that stuff. And uh, I feel like I didn't, I didn't miss a door yet. I'm going to show you guys downstairs in a minute. Yeah, I feel like I didn't miss a door yet. I can't wait to show you guys the next property too. All right, so let's go downstairs. You guys get to see the garage. This is where I'm picking up the Mustang from. And uh, yeah, this part, I hope I don't have to blur anything. All right, so we got the left side, the left side of the garage. I'm pretty sure that's the Hitman stuff. Some of the stuff, guys. Um, yeah, I hope I don't have to hide anything right now. All right, we got all of our weapons. These guys upstairs are guards. You know, they live here, but they are also guards. All right, this side is the weapons. What's over here? All right, our clothes. What's in here? All right, a little shoe range in here. What is over there? Oh man. Okay. I think that might be the stuff. If it is, I'm gonna have to skip. All right. Can't show you guys what's in this room, so we're gonna have to skip. <laughs> That's what you was talking about, Guillo. All right, I got you, I got you. All right, what's back here? Oh, oh, you guys can actually see the Mustang we're working on, man. Today is our test drive, and uh I gotta pick up this girl after. Wow, good luck to me. I mean actually to drive over there. But um this is our security system right here. Let me see. Is it showing this? No, it's not showing this room. It's showing the police station. You guys see this? It's showing the police station right now, man. But let me know what you guys think, man. Everything is in here. But um, we're gonna have to move some of the cars. Um, this is the drag Mustang we are here to pick up. This kind of feel like a James Bond house or something like that, man. Remember those 007 cribs, man? All right, so let's move some of these cars and uh, let's get let's get this thing going. Oh wait. I was about to say I just went in here. Oh, I was about to say it's it felt like it was a new door or something like that. All right, so um, let's uh, get this um, let's get this Viper moving right now because I gotta take out the Mustang, man. All right, Viper. 
I feel like I had this Viper for so long. This is one car I never had to replace. Like I had this car in the game since I mean, since we uh, not really start modding, but that was that kind of felt like back in 2017, 2016 or something like that. That's one car that never failed me, man. For real, I feel like I had that Viper for so long in there. All right, so we taking this. Do I have a passenger seat? Oh my goodness. Can you imagine? She's not going to like this. She's not going to like this. She's definitely not going to like this. All right. You know what? Maybe we'll go to Polito and then pick up after. Come on, though. There you go. Yep. Imagine she's, she's going to have to sit on the nitrous, bro. Yo, talk about that. Yeah, my one of my cars. So, um, one of my homegirl that usually like yeah, we hang out a lot or whatever. And I remember when I had my car, so I had deleted seat. <laughs> my little BMW deleted seat. Everything cuz I'm I you know, I think it was going to make the car even faster. You know, all that stuff, man. I've been I feel like I've been building cars for the longest now. But um, oh, you know, let's just bring this back here. Cops after somebody. Somebody else got the heat. That's okay. Yeah. So um, she didn't mind. Like she sit, she just sit in the car without the seat and stuff like that. Which is <laughs> crazy. Well, you know what? Let's see if she's gonna tag along. So I gotta pass by my pan house real quick. She tag along. That's okay. If she don't, I understand because we don't have no seat. You can see those single turbos though. Yeah, definitely a single turbo. Oh my god! I could just imagine if my turbos were that big. Oh my goodness. All right. So let's go to the penthouse real quick. And then we are heading all the way to Polito. And I got a property to show you guys after that. But um just like I said, man, hopefully you guys all going to enjoy today's let's go to work. I feel like I only did one job, making sure the arcade was working. Everything else is, you know, on autopilot. Just like the dealership. I mean, I'm just partner with Simeon with that. Oh, other dealership. I mean, they have cars, man. But sooner or later, we're gonna have to bring some cars to them. I am definitely not following no traffic rules. Oh, come on! Talking about following traffic rules, man. Some of these drivers out there, yo. I, I watched this lady take the sidewalk the other day. I yo, I can't make these things up, man. Like for real. Like I watched her take the sidewalk. I was like, yo, what is wrong? So there was um. I guess there was a disabled car, but everybody got out and helped this dude push the car. So instead of this lady waiting, I guess she had somewhere to be. I don't know. She had an appointment or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> she took the sidewalk, but she did whatever she had to do. But I was talking about reckless. There was people on the sidewalk. She didn't care. She did not care. She just took the sidewalk and uh, just saw, I mean, she was the fact that she was driving so fast. like, you know, if somebody took the sidewalk, they slow down. She stepped on it on the sidewalk, bro. Like there was part of it where one wheel was on one side, one wheel was on the sidewalk. So she was just gone for it. I could just imagine how her car feel right now. <laughs> but right now, guys, let's go pick up. Once we pick up, we are out of here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Driving some, you know, some first person, of course. Was that a Kobo? Wait, what car is this park? Yeah, I remember this car. So when I used to work for Enterprise, oh my goodness, is that is that? Wait, wait, wait. I know I'm stopping like in the middle of the street. Yo, no way, this is a Kobo SS. Yo, I didn't even know there was an SS. But what? All right, Range Rover. Oh, wow. really, dude? The Range Rover mob. What's wrong with y'all, man? Oh, he just crashed somebody Kobo too, man. Yeah, the reason why I know this car is because when I used to work for Enterprise, man, that was a car that nobody really rent. But if you're looking for a cheap car, <laughs> that was like the next car before that. Um, I know actually after the cheap cars, like you know the the um Versas, uh, the you know those cars. But man, I remember driving that thing around. Like, cause we for enterprise, we used to have to drive the car from one location to the other. Let's say if somebody come and rent a car, right? Let's say if I want a Mustang, and we know Brent should have it, 
sometimes instead of sending the per the person to the other branch, they will send like us to go pick up the car if it's quick enough or whatever the case is, man. She's upstairs, so let's get her so we can actually get out of here. And yeah, so that's when I used to get a chance to drive some of these cars, man, for like hours. Especially going from the airport to the location and stuff like that. The airport always have the cars, though. That's one thing for sure. All right, so let's go, man. All right, this is the first time I see her dressed down. All right, come on. We got to go. We got to go. I feel bad because she's going to have to sit on. <laughs> but we got to go. We got to go. Come on. Always taking her sweet time. Come on, man. We got to go. All right, so guys, we are heading to Polito. And hopefully this car can actually survive. This car feel like it's in great condition though, man. We're just gonna back up out of here. Yeah, so that's gonna be a little getaway, guys. Um we're gonna be in Polito. Uh let me see. Fastest way to Polito from right here though. I wanna see what the GPS gonna say. What is our fastest way? Of course, going down this way. Alright, so we'll stop for some gas and uh this is going to be the last property I have to show you guys today. Definitely. Thank you to Guelo for hooking us up with um, two properties right now. And uh, you know, I'll stop for gas at the uh, the gas station before we jump on the other highway. This is fast, but this this is not GTR fast. I've been seeing like certain cars get built, but I'm like, man, and this is why it's so hard for me to let go to GTR other than like if I get like a twin turbo hurricane or something like that, but that's like four to five GTRs. That's why I've been looking at it like, wait, why would I get four to five GTRs if I could just have one? I don't know. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. that was close. That was close. But uh, twin turbo hurricane will be will be nice though, man. Or oh, twin turbo perf or something like that. That would be nice. I could just imagine, man. You guys know I like fast cars. Whoa, <laughs> yo. All right, stopping for gas real quick. Well, we don't have to get out like New Jersey. You know, one thing, yo, I remember um uh, not first time I went to New Jersey, but um first time I had to stop for gas in New Jersey. I was getting pissed at the dude. I was like, "Yo, I want to do my own gas." I don't know if they still do that. Do they still do that? Anybody from New Jersey that's watching this right now? I mean, there's other places that does it though. But first time I went to New Jersey, um the, the dude was like, oh, get back in the car. I, I, I got to pump your gas. I was like, nah, man, I'll pump my own gas. And he was like, then you can't, you can't, you can't, um, what you got to do gas here. What? No, man, I'm doing gas here and I'm going to pump my own gas, this and that. And then we got into a whole altercation. <laughs> I end up going to another gas station, but still, I don't know, man. I feel like I got into a fight with the dude for no reason because, I mean, I didn't know. I didn't, I don't know if it's a law or something like that. But that was the first place I went to, and uh, yeah, I couldn't pump my own gas. I'm pretty sure it might be this. I don't know. It might be the same. It might be the same. Whoa, yo, yo, this Mustang is definitely not a Mustang because it is sticking to the ground, bro. I could do whatever. Yeah, this is definitely not a Mustang. I mean, with Mustang, you have to respect the railroad drive and also respect the car. That's that's what I call it because I had a Mustang for years. And never mustang it, like for real. Sometimes I, I even I, I mean, whenever it rained too, I remember just having fun with my Mustang, man. This is a long drive. I was, I thought we would have to stop for gas over here, but it looked like it's not burning that much gas. Maybe we didn't use E85. <laughs> E85 burns so fast, man. But it is worth it. It's like night and day. Uh, some of you guys might know what I'm talking about. It's just a different gas. Some cars run on it. I call it the corn juice, you know. Some cars run on it, some cars don't. I see Nissan is getting a lot of cars to run on E85, aka Flex Fuel, of course. Some of you guys might not know about that, but um, I drive my GTR every day on Flex Fuel. Sometimes I put regular gas just to, you know, clean out the tank and stuff like that. But other than that, mostly E85, man. I'm talking about that, I'm due for some regular gas, some regular 93 soon. But let's hurry up. Um, last property to show you guys. And sorry I couldn't show you guys the room in that place. And also, um, when it comes to the, the let's go to work, like that's what I do with each at uh, which um each series. If you guys are not watching anymore, I just move on to the next series and so on and so on. 
So you guys let me know. Should let's go to work go back to daily? Or should we just, you know, slow down and let's go to work for now? I see you guys all loving the LSPFRs, of course. But um let's go to work, which I feel like I haven't done in a week. Yo, I haven't done let's go to work in a week. It, it happens. It happens. Cause we had so many episodes. We've been doing RPs a lot. I mean, which one is you guys' favorite? Because I know some of you guys come back for Let's Go to Work. Some of you guys come back for um, LSPFR. Some of you guys come back for the story time, of course. Then you're going to end up watching all episodes. <laughs> if you come back for the story times, you're going to watch all episodes. Just things that happen with me and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I usually let the game trigger the story time. It's like when some happen, like because I'm driving a Mustang, I was able to, you know, talk about stuff about Mustang and stuff like that. Yeah, so I kind of went into like things happen in the game. I don't just like, oh, I'm making this episode and I'm going to talk about this. No, it's just straight up that way from at least for me but right now, guys, we're pulling up to the last property of the day. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this. We're going to enjoy this for the weekend um, and the Mustang is going to be staying here. Oh, man, this, you know what? We're just going to park this right here. All right, she's going to do what she have to do, but uh, we here. We here. I don't know. Check out the place. This is your first time in this property too. We got the ram over here. Do we have access to the girl? Yes, from the garage, to inside of property. But um, let's go check it out, guys. Let's go check it out. Let's go in here. And I hope you guys all going to enjoy. Rate the first property though, one to ten. Rate the first property. Let me know how you guys feel about it. And this is the second property. And uh, wow, it was a nice living room. I would definitely eat in here. Anybody eat with the TV on? Like I, I feel like it's a bad habit. I remember my grandma used to, like, <laughs> used to get mad at me over that. Let's just say that grandma's really old school. Rest in peace, grandma. Um, but she used to not let me watch TV while eating. This is a habit that I built after her, of course, where I gotta have the TV on to eat. But you guys, let me know. Do you guys have the TV on to eat? This is a nice kitchen too, guys. We have the books right here. So when uh, when it's time to eat, we have to just look at each other. That's what we used to do. Look at each other and talk and talk. I, I, feel, I still feel like this is it's pretty cool. I'm definitely going to do that with my son for sure. When you eating, no TV, <laughs> but this is the front door right here. But man, right now is it's really hard. Like I got to put a movie on or something. This is downstairs. All right. We, we, we didn't see that yet. Hold up, guys. Let's check out the place. Uh, this is my office. How you guys doing? What's up with you? Hello. And you, miss? I guess she's chilling. Wait, why are they here? I have no idea. They look like they happy though. All right, we got a bathroom on this side with a shower though. And uh, I'm guessing another bathroom. Nope, this is definitely a closet. Yo, Guillo, you all improving these clock? Yo, I never seen these closets in GTA. Wow, is that like a new model or something? You let me know, man. Oh, this actually opened up. Wow, so we can actually go through the front door. Where is she? She's probably downstairs already. Oh, probably in a garage somewhere. But you guys got a chance to see this, and uh, yeah, I guess let's go downstairs. This property is nice, yo. This is a nice getaway, and then we can actually go to the beach down. I mean, down there. All right, I want to make sure I don't miss no doors because you guys be like, yo, you missed this door, bro. All right, as you walk in, the, uh, this is a nice bedroom with a bathroom. Okay, we could say this is our guest bedroom, especially with a room with no window. Uh, my room got to have a window, man. That's a that's a must for me, at least. All right, we got a little laundry mat over here. This is nice. Another bedroom. Is that the master bedroom? I'm not sure. With the fireplace on the side, the big closet, of course. Yeah, I definitely like this style, though. And also, wait, 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 wait. You see, you guys might think I'm just walking into those glass for no reason, but Guillo always have, you know, all, you know, those little secret doors and stuff like that. So you never know, man. You never know. This is this is a little bit bigger bathroom, of course. With a view, though, can you imagine walk? Oh man, I wish we could just walk out from here, but that would be word word. Somebody got caught. Somebody got caught for real. 
All right. We seen the laundry mat already. Um. Oh wait, wait. Was that a second one? No, same one, same one. I was about to say. Oh, this is a vibe right here. This is a vibe, guys. Come on. Is this by the steps? Yeah, this is a vibe right here, man. This is definitely a vibe, bro. Without being outside. Oh, this is her bedroom, I guess. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? Hello. Okay, okay, I see you. Nice closet, bathroom. All right, we lit, guys. I'll bring the whole family for the weekend. <laughs> for real. I'll bring the whole family for the weekend, man. Something nice like this. Whoa, whoa, we got an extra garage over here. Okay, okay, okay. Wow, and you just walk straight to the. B nah, man, that's everything. That's everything. That's goals right here, guys. Wow. Look at this, man. This this is a beach crib for real. All right. Um, I think I show you guys almost everything. So I'm guessing this is the master bedroom. Uh, let's get a better view of everything. Oh, we got the ladies out. Yeah, I didn't even see them. I did not even see them. Did I? I, I didn't really. I, I mean, I just passed through. I didn't really like stay out here. But wow, wow, guys. All right, let's go back upstairs. And uh, yeah, I think this is gonna be it for today's episode. You guys have a great weekend. I'm gonna try. Whoop! You guys didn't see that. I'm gonna try my best to enjoy my weekend. Of course, we out here. And uh, this was a nice property, man. I was about to say, did I miss a door? Let me know if I miss a door and where. Was it downstairs, upstairs? Because I think I show you guys almost the whole place except for outside. All right, this should open up. I did not see these ladies over here. Yo, imagine you pass. Yo, I so so the other day, talking about story time. Word, word, word. Is there a glass on top of this? Oh no, nah. <laughs> you tried it. It felt like it was a glass. How y'all doing? She ain't even say nothing. Okay. This is where we out at. Um, yeah. I hope you guys are all going to enjoy this. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I'll catch you guys next time, man. <laughs> Peace.